It has been over four decades of painted art and printed work that has taken him from Oaxaca, Mexico to the rest of the world. Now with our Basel fast approaching South Florida, Sergio Hernandez decided to bring Parables, a collection, an exhibition that promised to be a turning point in his career. Sergio, welcome to South Florida. Bienvenido al sur de la Florida, eh? Uh, muchas gracias. The first question that I have to ask, and, it, and this is absolutely necessary, is that why did we wait 20 years to see a full collection of yours here in the United States? Bueno, ese asado. Well, it is random. I came to Art Basel a few years ago, met Sanini, the gallery owner, and he showed a lot of interest in my work. So he visits us in Oaxaca, and together, we found a way to return here to Miami. I had not returned for a long time because I had been immersed in my work, in my study, and had found a very good relationship between my work and Europe. That is why I had not come to the United States, but now I have much desire to return. How was your first encounter with art? Bueno, eso tiene that has que a lot to do with the world in which I moved around in, my world in Oaxaca, one full of colorful traditions, cultures, and great freedom. This led me to express myself in one of those media. I wanted to be a musician, even play the guitar, but it was much stronger for me to visually graft the floor, paint fruits, and I found great encouragement and great inspiration within this culture where I come from. I'm sure that Oaxaca and obviously everywhere you have lived influence your art in one way or another. It's, it has to because it's where you come from. Esas culturas. Cultures such as Japan's are reflected in my lead paintings and literature helps me a lot. But basically it's a constant learning of freedom, of creativity, of museums, of paintings by artists that influence my painting. I'm going to read this briefly. It says the following. A brief and symbolic narration from which a moral teaching is drawn. That is the name and how you named your exhibition. Bueno, eh... Well, I have a great concern for the teachings of thousands of years that nature has given us. I have tried to hear what nature tells me those parables that nature is giving us. We must pay more attention to. And I translate that teaching into my paintings through my colors, my drawings, my forms. It's a kind of complaint through the color, the forms, insects and animals, an explosion and the beautiful parables that nature is giving us. That is beauty of nature. When do you know is that specific moment that momentum where you go, this is finished. This piece of art, it's complete. Nunca termina. I never finish. In my case, there are paintings that I have been working on for over 10 years. I have come to use removers to remove layers, to repaint again and again. One cannot abandon a painting and you have to close the circle. If you don't close a circle, and you never finished the painting in this creative process, it brings the big question. Was that painting ever ready to be seen by the world? Yet many times in the creative process, one exceeds the limits of creativity. South Florida, it's, um, it's a great supporter of art. We are opening many doors down here, especially Coral Gables. It's a city that actually supports the art. Why choose South Florida after 20 years to be back here in the United States? Well, well it's the parece. closest thing to me because I like the tropics. I can't be in cold places. I like this place because it's warm. I like the light here. And one of the things that has me most in love in nature is palm trees. You have wonderful botanical garden that is reflected in some way in my paintings and in some kind of alchemical way. This is going to be a very hard question. Esta va a ser una pregunta muy difícil. Recently, which one has been your, your most loved piece of work that you've gone out of your studio and said, this is a piece of art that I've created? It is a very large painting on an eight meters by eight meters piece of fabric. It is made in a very red color with Addis Irons, Grana Cochinilla, 
all the red that I found. I spilled them on this giant fabric that became a great cartography of the city of Mexico, now named the Belly of the Moon. This wonderful exhibition has a name, which we just mentioned, Parables, Parabolas en Español. Who named it? Giorgio Orte. Giorgio Orte, who's an Italian philologist, and Edward Sullivan were the ones who suggested this theme of parables, and it adjusted perfectly Maestro, eh? muchísimas gracias. Thank you very much for giving us the time to show us par parables. Hopefully this Art Basel that's coming up will be a great uh, moment for you. Welcome to South Florida again. Thank you so much. Muchísimas gracias. Now, if you want to learn more about Sergio Hernandez, make sure you follow him on every social media platform out there. Also, you can visit him on SergioHernandez.com. And don't forget to stay tuned to our programming. Till next time, Amer Cuesta. Thanks for watching.